Oh, ho! they're awesome. Let's get to it. Hey, everybody. It's Jane again. She's going to show us one of her favorite recipes. And which one is this from? This is my mother's barbecued ribs. Country style, right? Country style, yes. All right, country style. You might hear the door in the background. That's because we got our painter working for us. So let's get this going. We're gotten company coming over, and this is going to be our meal, and this is going to be a prep. So what do we got to do first, Jane? Um, well, uh, what it says on here, and the way my mom used to do it, she would have you brown the sparrows with salt and pepper first. I don't usually do it that way. Okay. I will. I usually take it right from there, and I put it into the pan, and I salt and pepper it. In the pan. In the pan. Okay, so let's get that going. Because I, I found that if I brown it ahead of time, then it gets really dried out. Well, I and, understand that. And then that I don't care for. So to me, I don't think you're losing anything by doing it this way. Well, we got these country style ribs. They were on sale for 99 cents a pound. So what we're gonna be doing is this is a really cheap meal and these are just gorgeous. Turn them. They're really good. What would you like, honey? I think you can fit more of them. Well, there's more. I know, but. So do you use salt and pepper or do you, are you gonna use the SPGO? We could use the SPGO, it doesn't matter. Okay. Why don't we go, so here's your first package, so show them how you're gonna do that, and then I will get, we have both packages, because we're gonna meal prep with these, so that's why we're opening up both. And this has got, the barbecue sauce isn't thick, okay? Because when you cook them in the oven, it's gonna get a little runny, I gotta wash my hands, everybody, because of touching those ribs. I can't get the package over. You do both sides? Mm hmm Okay, so she's gonna season those up on um, both sides. The thing about it is, is that it's got a little bite to it. So we really like it, but you could add so much more to this too, like jalapeno slices or Habanero, you could put more of the seasoning in, but this is really good and so tender. What does this take, about an hour, hour and a half? At least an hour and a half. Uh, so an hour and a half, maybe two hours, everybody. Probably depends on, on how big the pieces are, how thick, how thick they are. Look at the beautiful piece right here. That thing is huge. Um, what do you think there, Jane? Good? Okay. Let's trade. Go ahead, trade. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all greasy, honey. I'm all greasy. Let me get this, these country style ribs. So that's $8 worth of ribs there, everybody. There's still some good deals every so often when you have to look. But one of our grocery stores locally was, is called Piggly Wiggly, if you have that. And uh, they had these really cheap 99 cents i went in and didn't we buy like about 10 packages of these you, you cleaned them out yes 10 15 packages put them in the freezer bags and froze them up and then i think you sent me over and then i cleaned then we cleaned them out twice <laughs> don't be too worried about this because with all the seasoning and everything else this is all going to disperse so she put a nice layer of the SPGO, that salt, pepper, garlic, and onion. So this is usually the salt or pepper. We go this route. So what's next in making the sauce? We got this, so let's put this off to the side. What's next, Jane? Um, with how my mom has it written, I usually go backwards with it. So I will do the water and ketchup first. And we're gonna triple this because we got two big pans. But this is usually just for three to four pounds, okay? of country style ribs, all right? Okay. I'm not a mathematician, I don't know how to So three fourths that. and three fourths. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I, I got the one and a half, I just don't. Two and a quarter. Thank you. Two and a quarter, Jay. Okay. So it's. <laughs> <laughs> I need the quarter cups then. Uh, that's why I'm over here for you. I am, I am your sous chef. <laughs> you are the chef. This is your kitchen today, Jane. I need the quarter of that one too. You need a what? I need the quarter of this. 
I will two. get you the quarter of that one. <laughs> so two and a quarter, you said? Two and a quarter, my love. Yeah, I, d I don't do the math part. He's the math guy in the family. That is not me. <laughs> oh, her name is Jane. But look at, <laughs> she wrote this a long time ago for us about, oh, 15 years ago, Jane? That, that, that's my mom's handwriting. That's her mom's handwriting and it's fading and, and it's got barbecue sauce on it and I took a picture and I put it up on our software for our personal. So we're gonna, I should really laminate that so we could stay forever. One of the few things that you do while you cook, you get from your family recipes and it just means something. So, all right, so the next thing says three-fourths cup of ketchup. So that's the exact same thing, two and a quarter. I kind of figured that part. <laughs> <laughs> really, Jane? <laughs> I thought you said you weren't the math person. I am not the math person. Let me. I need, really? Where's the other one? What? The other. I thought I grabbed it. The Grab other ketchup. What? The other ketchup. No, I don't. I, I'm not the. I'll get your other ketchup here, hon. You, you're you're a good person, honey. I am here to service. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> I'm your servant right now. Okay. What the hell were you laughing at, weirdo? I'll explain it later. Okay. <laughs> well, we're back because I had to say goodbye to my painter, my sister. So, all right. So, you got your ketchup? I got my ketchup. All right. Get the ketchup in there. So, she's doing her ketchup. And it does say a half a teaspoon of black pepper. So... That is triple, so a half and a half is one and a half. There's the teaspoons. So I'll get the black pepper going for oh. you, honey. Well, you're a nice guy, honey. I try my hardest for you. Oi! Oh, I... You know, it's pretty bad when pepper, you can't even... I don't think, we, I don't think we ever used that. That's probably why it was There's like that. There's one. Wait, 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 wait. Half and half is one and a half. And I say, that's half. Yeah, that's half. What do you think, everybody? That looks half, that looks like half. You could get the half if you wanted to. I can't do that. You're in my way. Well, you could say, excuse me, and I will get oh, out of your way. Oh, that... Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be a kick? I don't know how that works, honey. Like, you don't know how manners work? Oh, no, no, no. Cayenne pepper is a half a tea teaspoon. Is that it? Cayenne pepper. Now this is going to be for us, since it's tripled, one and a half, right? Because you're the mathematician. <laughs> Let me get my calculator because I'm not sure. You got to take your um, socks gotta... off and use your toes? No, I'm going old school. I'm getting out the abacus. Abacus. Okay, we're going to put that in. Now, you could add a little bit more if you want it more spicy, but this is really good. We like it. And it's got a really good flavor. And what's so good about baking these, this is excellent during winter time because then you could warm up your house, the oven's going, the whole place smells like barbecue ribs. Oh, it's just so good. There you go. Where are we? All right. So, the next one, honey, is one teaspoon of chili powder. So you need three. Boy, we work so good together as a team, don't we? <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to have to look again. So, it, so three? Yeah, three. Okay. That's one teaspoon. And her mom is old school, so she would make the small T for teaspoons and then a capital T for tablespoons. That's old school. That's like a pinch and a dash and a a smidgen. <laughs> Nobody gets to say smidgens anymore. I don't think anybody would know how to say okay. smidgen. Okay. On a count of three. One, two, three. Smidgens. <laughs> I still don't <laughs> think we did it right. I said smidgens and you said smidgen. Yeah. So. Three. Okay, she's getting that done. Uh-oh, paprika. Paprika. Ooh, it got all over my hands. Well, that's not good. 
I like paprika. You could use smoked paprika. You could use regular paprika. Now this says for the paprika, one teaspoon, in a, and I got the teaspoon here, so that's Ooh, one and a the half. Sneeze. There's one. Wait a minute, that's one, so that's three, stupid. Oh, my math is horrible, honey. Two. I can't save you. Three, ah, okay. Why not? Then it says salt, one teaspoon, so three teaspoons. And we're gonna be using sea salt. You could use sea salt. We don't use a lot of iodine salt anymore, but we use either sea salt or the Himalaya pink sea salt. It's better for you. So go ahead and put that on. Now, Worcestershire sauce is after this. So it says two tablespoons. Now we're into the tablespoons. But since we're tripling it, right, Jane? Yes. We got to go three times two is? Six. Ta-da. She can't do math, everybody. <laughs> I choose not to. Oh, I'll use this. Okay, honey, what's yours? I did the Worcestershire. And then the vinegar. You're going to do vinegar? Vinegar. Okay. I got to put six of this in there. There's two, four, six. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. I love to count Worcestershire. <laughs> what? I have not. You could still use that. You don't have to clean it off for the. I always clean it off. Okay. Uh, I was wrong there, everybody. It's her kitchen right now, not mine. <laughs> you gotta let me be me, honey. I feel so out of place, everybody. <laughs> You're a goof. Now, what we like to do after this, my wife has always done it. She makes this up and then she whips it up and she tastes it and then she calls me, she goes, what's wrong with it? So she always asks me and you always tweak it a little bit to get it to where you like it, okay? What's next? We have to wish it. That's it, we just made our barbecue sauce. Wish away there, wish away. Now, she's going with the old school elbow grease, but if you got that would be a mess. No, not if you get the handheld one. I think that would still be a mess. No, not if you get the handheld one. <laughs> you just repeated yourself. I know, because you repeated yourself. You see how I, I work with you. I still think it would be a mess. No, not if you had the hand <laughs> one. Who's going to give the up on this first? And Is it going to be me or you? Anything, if it's got a motor on it, I think you're setting yourself up for a mess. No. Not if you had the hand one. It still has a motor on it. What if you had the hand cranking one? You're not making an omelet, honey. This is barbecue You sauce. don't use the hand cranking one on an omelet. Honey. Yes, you do. No, you don't. <laughs> yes, you do. You're not normal. <laughs> <laughs> it still wouldn't make a mess, though. Just think that's going to be enough for both big pans? Um, maybe. If we need to make more, everybody, we might make more, and then we'll come back to the action-packed Jane's Kitchen. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> You're, like, really strange. I'm strange. Mm-hmm. Let me see. It's too tomatoey. Tomato ketchup-y. Yes, you are right. Um, grab the vinegar. Um, what did you just do? With I my just vinegar? moved it over there to get it out <laughs> of the way. It's got a good bite. I don't think it, it's too much to, too much ketchup. Well, yeah, but it's got a good bite. Okay, hold that. Give me this. Mm -hmm. Hold this. So she needs a little bit more vinegar. Oh yeah, that was good. You're born qualified on that one as it splashed up like a moron. Yeah, 
that's got a really good bite to it. It's not too much. You know what I'm saying? I think that's all really I'm, good. All I'm tasting is ketchup. Oh no, there's there's all it's all in there. Here, let me mix it up for you. No, if you had a motorized one, it would go faster. Yeah, but it would make a mess. <laughs> Good thing I'm standing over here, Splooser. Try I didn't spill it anywhere, huh, Missy? Got like way too many bubbles. <clears throat> That's because I whipped it. <laughs> whipped it good. Still catch up. Still catch up to me. Okay. Just a tad more off, and I think Worcestershire sauce. And maybe a little chili powder. You took my chili. Oh, never mind. You did not take my chili powder. Was it supposed to have chili powder? Yeah, right there. Yeah. There's chili powder, too. Yeah. I'm going to use this up. Okay. I'm just going to put about four more dashes. There we go. Four more dashes. Let me get this all mixed up for you, sweetie. Give it a little bit more bite with a little bit more chili powder. See, this is what it's starting to look like, everybody. And when you pour it over it, it doesn't have to cover it. All of it, right. Because, you know, partial, partial way through, partly partial, Partly what you got the college degree halfway through. Thank <laughs> you. You could take the the meat Come and you can one. and you can sp and you can spin it a little bit. That'll get that'll get the meat coated better. Didn't know what word I was going for. Okay, that's good. Dad's got a bite. The vinegar comes up. The grease of the thing is going to make that even better. Okay. No, that's good. That's no. how you normally make it, honey. I'm just tasting. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I think you're, this is good, hon. You're really good. All right, now do you, now you have to cut up an onion. Okay, two small onions. So we're going to put that off to the side. Do you put the onions down first or on top? You layer them, right? What do you mean? The onions on top, right? Yeah, I just toss them. Remember the onions. Could now, put as, as many in as you like, as little in as, as you like. Okay, so I'm doing like what you're doing. Oh, and the onions come out so good. Oh, airborne. Um, honey, um, do you uh, do you put any garlic in here? I do not. Okay. Which one is going to be more yours? It's all mine. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no food for me on the road. Um, what do you think? That's enough onions can, in that one, hun? You can have that piece. Wow. Really? Yeah. You're not a nice person to me. No, I'm not. <laughs> I don't have to be nice anymore. Okay, what do you think? I want to put a little garlic in, in the one that I'm going to do, okay? If that's okay with you. It doesn't call for it, but you know how I like garlic. You like too much garlic, though. No, 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 yes. no. Yes. I've never been bitten by a vampire. You all done? No. That's a lot of onions in that one. I love onions. No, we could hold off on the garlic, but I think the garlic would be so good. Roast it up. You could even take garlic, flatten it like a clove or two, just to get some garlic into it. All good? All right, good. There you go. I got that all remixed up. Now you pour away, Jane. Do the big one first. Okay, you got it? Mm-hmm. Let's see how this is done. There you go. It would help if you were not 
Okay, stop moving it while I'm about to pour. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, ninny. I'm, I'm, ninny? Yeah, ninny. What is, how did she say it again? You, 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 um, commissions. You rotten vermicious commit. <laughs> Twimble. Okay. Leave here. that right now. Let's get the rest in here. Here, snozzberries taste like snozzberries. <laughs> Weirdo. <clears throat> I think that's enough barbecue sauce. See how she just covered that up? It's not fully, but you got to remember when these cook down, it's going to release the flavor of the pork into this barbecue sauce too. Yeah, I would put... A little bit right here, hon. Yep. Okay, put some more in here. Right here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Right here. Yep. Right there. Oh, looking good. Remember, that's going to release that salt, pepper, garlic, and onion, so it's going to add even more into it. Here, use this one. Oh, you're gonna use that, that's smart. Now I found one right here that didn't get any barbecue sauce on it, so oh, I'm gonna dip it. Scandal. Scandalous. Mm. That's what it looks like, everybody. Gorgeous. Now, 350 uncovered for one and a half to two hours. And you said, honey, mm -hmm. halfway through this, what do you do? You I, I'll you just turn them and turn them around so that all sides get. So you flip them. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that's gonna got some great flavor. So look at what we got for our meals right here. Let's get this put in the oven. Everybody will come back and we'll check this out, you know. Well, when we pull them out of the oven and we'll see how yummy these are. These are so good. You're going to love it. One of the few meals that you eat that's got some spice to it. Yeah, I'm not the spice person. No. No, I do no. not. My stomach does not. <laughs> but you tear these up. Yeah. These come out of the oven, everybody, one and a half to two hours. So tender, they just fall right apart. And even if you wanted to, you could take these apart. Let's say you get some spare ribs with no bones, make up some egg noodles, drop that on there, put a little of the barbecue sauce over mashed potatoes on a baked potato and make a loaded baked a mm. rib baked potato with yeah. barbecue sauce. Yeah. <gasps> that would be <laughs> really good. Yeah, you could do anything with it, really. So, we'll see you in a minute. Right, Jane, in your kitchen? For today, it is my kitchen. Yeah. What are you going to do? Are you going to sign off or are you going to say, get out of my kitchen, husband? Or No, because, you know, I don't want to, like, offend, offend you or your, your audience. <laughs> it's your audience now. I'm just a sous yeah. chef. So, all right. Yeah. Don't get out of my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's been two hours. Jane. Come on over here, Jane. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> What All can right. I do you for? Isn't it time to grab the ribs? It's time to grab the ribs. Well, let's get those ribs out. Where is the pot holders? I thought you had them. I did, but you probably moved them because you. I like don't to even do know where they are. They're right there. Like, oh right yeah, yeah, them. yeah. Well, why don't you go over there and grab one, and I grab one. We got the roasted potatoes done over here. We got corn going in the microwave, That's and a, a carrot maybe. Yeah, carrots. I knew it was carrots. Oh, flip that. Perfect. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Just look at that. Oh, yeah, that's just perfect. Don't you move yourself, Spanky. Oh, yeah, there goes the carrots, right? Not yeah. corn. Yeah. Let's see how that is. Oh, yeah, that is tender. This is what it looks like, everybody. This is going to be our dinner. My dad and my ma sitting over there. But look at that. Marna's barbecued, baked barbecued oh, ribs. Right, yeah. So. That is good stuff. <laughs> look at that. 
All right, we're gonna start dishing this up. Start eating. I think the corn just might be uh, carrots. Carrots, dear. Oh, you jerked really hard there. Did yeah. you did you burn yourself? No, I'm fine. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> you ain't normal, woman. You know that. All right, everybody. But I'm it's din din time. We'll get some pictures of this, and we'll see what's next. I'm cute, though. You're not cute. I'm very cute. Okay. Ask, ask the audience. Audience, am I cute? Absolutely. Really? Very much so. Cuter than him? Absolutely. <laughs> of course. All right. This is my <laughs> kitchen, everybody. Uh, today it's my kitchen. Get out. Remember? <laughs> All right. Your mother's ribs. Baked ribs. What do you think? Good as always. Zippy, right? A little bit, yeah. So this is what happened, everybody. Four of us ate. My dad and Sharon took a meal each. So that's six. And we got one, two, three, four, five more meals. Six plus five is what? Mathematician? Eleven. Eleven. And one big bowl of ribs. Twelve meals for about 20 bucks. Not bad. It's a good okay. deal. That's a really good deal. So, whose kitchen was it? Mine. <laughs> My kitchen. <laughs> um, thanks for uh, joining us, Jane and John, and Jane's Kitchen. And do all that great stuff. Comment. Tell us if you try it. There's nothing like having this during fall and winter. Instead of barbecuing out on the grill, guess what? You, you, you fill up your house with that warm smell of barbecued ribs with a slight onion in there, and it's just perfection. It's one of those winter wonderland meals. So do all that great stuff. Comment, like, subscribe, thumbs up, notification, right? There you go. <laughs> and when are we gonna see us again? Um, whenever you make something else. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the next time we cook something up in our kitchen, that's what we did today for y'all. Yeah. We'll see ya. I'll give it back to you. Oh, I put my hand right in front of your face. I'm going to give it back to you, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can have your kitchen back. Okay, thank you. Bye. You get to clean. Usually. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get everything taken care of. Bye, everybody. Have a great one.